This video will provide an introduction to electricity. Here's an overview. So electricity is the movement or buildup of charged particles. Static electricity is the accumulation of charged particles, whereas electric current is the flow of charged particles, typically electrons or ions, through a conductor. Now we'll take a look at the difference between conventional current and electron flow. So conventional current is defined as the flow of positive charge. And the flow is from the positive terminal of a power source to the negative terminal. This direction was established in the early days of electrical theory by scientists who believed that electrical current flowed in this manner. In contrast, electron flow is the actual movement of electrons in a circuit. They flow from the negative terminal to the positive terminal of a power source. Electrons are negatively charged particles and their movement constitutes the real flow of charge in most circuits. Now we'll take a look at the differences between direct current and alternating current. So direct current is a type of electrical current that flows in one constant direction. Batteries and solar panels produce direct current and it provides a constant voltage that's used to power portable devices and electric vehicles, for example. And if you look at the graph, you can see that the voltage versus time is just a constant value. Electron drift velocity is the average speed at which free electrons move through a conductor. Although electrons drift slowly, the electrical signal propagates at a significant fraction of the speed of light. For example, in copper, it's about two thirds the speed of light that the signal will travel along the wire. This fast propagation is why electrical devices respond almost instantaneously when they're switched on. And that's in spite of the typical drift velocities being only a few millimetres per second or around that sort of value. Moving on to alternating current, this is a type of electrical current where the direction of flow reverses periodically. The electrical grid that powers homes and businesses produces and transmits alternating current and it's used to power appliances, lighting and machinery. And you can see from the graph, the voltage versus time, you get this sine wave type shape. So the voltage goes up and becomes positive. It then goes back down to zero and then onto negative. So it keeps oscillating up and down from positive to negative. Alternating current has a frequency which is based on how many times the current changes direction per second. AC is generated by rotating a coil within a magnetic field or vice versa. This creates a sinusoidal voltage and current waveform. Now the frequency of the AC depends on the rotational speed of the generator. AC is more suitable for long distance electricity transmission because it can easily be transformed to higher or lower voltages using transformers. This helps to reduce energy losses in the wires. Transformers use electromagnetic induction to transfer electrical energy between coils. AC can also be converted to DC when required. So that's been an introduction to electricity. I hope you found that useful. Please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.